in these challenging economic times. Finding a stable, well-paying job is more challenging than ever. But remember, God has given us talents to relieve our condition. We just need to tap into them. Introducing iShop.Black, your path to success. Register with us to start your own online business or move your existing one online. We are here to lower the barriers to entry. For a limited time, get one month free for monthly and annual subscriptions when you use discount code iShop. iMarketplace is a new service, so if you act now you'll have first mover's advantage. Take advantage of our free concierge service offer. Our associates are ready to assist you with your site setup. For a limited time, use discount code HOOKUP to save $5 off on monthly subscription fees. Why choose iShop.Black? 45 beautifully designed modern templates. Choose from a variety of professional templates to create your online store. Immediate searchability. Your site products will be instantly searchable on iShop.Black, allowing you to leverage our marketing reach. Fast setup, you can have your site up and running within minutes. Don't miss out. Hop Sneaker Contest, register at hops.win to win free sneakers. One entry per person please. Take control of your future with iShop.Black. The number one destination for melanated shoppers. Want healthier, stronger, shinier hair? Tired of products that don't work for coily or kinky hair? Meet 12 Tribes, the vegan hair care line designed for you. Our products are made with love for your gorgeous coils. We offer hair growth butters, oils, shampoos, and hairsprays. These products help your hair grow long, thick, and shiny. Imagine a hair care line that's 100% vegan and perfect for coily hair. No more guessing if it's really going to work for you. Our butters are rich and nourishing, feeding every strand. Our oils are lightweight but powerful, sealing in moisture without greasy residue. Shampoos and butters leave your hair clean and soft, never stripped. What sets us apart? Our dedication to your hair's needs. No harsh chemicals, just effective, natural ingredients. And the results speak for themselves. Start your journey to healthier, shinier hair today. Visit our Etsy shop, Lisa Crafts. Click the link in the description below. Give your hair the care it deserves. Join our satisfied customers and see the difference. Ladies and gentlemen, Tim Scott decided to do his black job and come out and defend Donald Trump, being the good raccoon that he's always been up until now. So he feels compelled to do an interview and, and kind of elaborate on Donald Trump saying black jobs during the debate, you know, you know, I think many of us are starting to move on from that, but not Tim Scott, you know, he needs to sit down in front of the cameras and do his black job. So let's get into this story. Tim Scott defends Donald Trump's black jobs remark during the last debate. So Republican Tim Scott continues to defend Donald Trump. This time, the South Carolina senator claimed that the criticism Trump has received for the remark made during the presidential debate on June 27 is misdirected. During a July 12th interview, Scott said that Trump was actually trying to defend his record on job creation. That is not what he was doing at that moment. That is not what he was doing. I watched that debate. So Tim Scott is being the typical lying politician. Don't believe what you saw and heard. Believe me. So according to the Huffington Post, Scott offered up a defense that when Trump said that those coming into the country were allegedly taking black jobs, the former president really meant, oh, let the drum roll, please, created jobs for black people. Well, I would like to know, Tim Scott, what are created jobs for black people? Please elaborate on that so we all can understand 
what a created job for black people really actually is. What is it, a job sweeping up and mopping up and dusting? I mean, <laughs> is that what you call a black job? Uh, okay, so what are specific jobs for black people that Donald Trump created? To me, you're digging a deeper hole for him. This is really not helping. I think what he meant was the fact that two thirds of the jobs created went to African Americans, Hispanics, and women. This is what Scott said. I think we should take a whole look at the picture, and I don't think that happens. Well, I think you should stop lying in front of the cameras because that's not what Donald Trump was talking about in those moments during the debate. So he goes on whining about how the media, you know, they always distorting my picture. They're trying to lie about my record, he told the outlet. So he's sitting there whining like a little bitch. So anyway, before adding that it's incredibly unfortunate that the media makes black success stories today about liberal success. Actually, no, they don't. The media don't do black success stories. They do white success stories and they may throw one in a few times a year, but that's it. They don't do that. The media has spent its entire time destroying our reputation, destroying us and lying heavily about us to the entire world. But success stories? No, uh, U.S. media don't do those kind of stories on the Black population. They never have and never will. So anyway, Scott was not the only Black conservative. So, you know, there were others, Deontay Johnson, um, another one trying to defend a Black job. So, you know, Deontay Johnson was just doing his Black job for Donald Trump. So he meant the jobs of Black people. And we've been using the term for a while, Johnson told the outlet, okay, wait a minute, y'all been using the term Black jobs for a while? When? So then he goes on to say, it's any job instead of Black people having unlimited accessibility to all types of jobs, illegal immigrants are taking their jobs from them. That is not what Donald Trump said. And as for unlimited access, we have never had unlimited access to the jobs in America. That's why the boardroom still is primarily all white. Okay, that's that, that go your proof right there. And the higher you go up the ladder within many of these companies and corporations, the less of us you see. So no, the accessibility has never been unlimited for us. That's a lie. Despite Johnson's defense of Trump's statement, Michael Blake, the founder and CEO of Cairo's Democracy Project, placed the onus on those who believe in diversity to defend its merits from fear mongering. It's the responsibility for us to tell the story of the benefits of diversity. Well, this country is getting rid of DIE, so why are we continuing to talk about diversity? I'm just asking. On one instance, you are getting rid of DE, I'm sorry, DEI. You're getting rid of DEI. And then on the other hand, when it's convenient, you try to talk about diversity. You know, it, it doesn't work. So if you don't want DEI, then stop talking about diversity altogether. Why do y'all keep talking about it? All right, stop talking about it. And the notion that uh, those people are taking from you is a fear only message as opposed to asking, how do we all win? 
Well, many of us. So you mean all of us, including the illegals? How do we all win? Some of y'all need to stop interviewing these folks for real. So anyway, in contrast to Scott's statement, however, the media is not to blame for the Republican Party's negative reputation. Well, in my opinion, both parties got a negative reputation. The Democrats and the Republicans, both of you, got a poor track record with the Black community. Both of you have not gone above and beyond to address our issues. Both of you consistently avoid the topic of reparations, qualified immunity, um, any topic pertaining to our community, you try to avoid. Now, the one that y'all both will gladly talk about is HBCUs. And the vast majority of us are not in an HBCU. So when you focus on that, you're still missing the majority of the segment within the Black community. But that's what you will do. But it's no surprise that Tim Scott attempted to make this defense and fell flat on his face as usual. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.